forever, except in my memory, where it still lives, still young, still beautiful, still the noble and ever loyal city. And whenever I remember it, a typhoon wind is blowing. It is the feast of La Naval. The bells begin to peal again and sound like silver coins shimmering in the fine air. But the rumor of drums and trumpets as bands march smartly down the cobblestones, a pang of childhood happiness smiles in every heart. October in Manila. Hello, Candida. I saw you and Paula in church. Yes, I, I, I left ahead. There was such a big crowd and I was so dizzy. Mm. October please, again, Candida. Please sit down. Paula will be here in a moment. Is anything wrong, Candida? Everything. <coughs> what? We are leaving this. This is going to be our last October. The last October? Yes. Well, you would have had to leave this house anyway sooner or later. It is too old. It's our youth. This is where we were born. And when the war breaks out, it will become very unsafe. And you must think of your father. You must think of this painting. Where is it? Has it been sold? Stolen? No, no. Where is it? No, I don't know. Candida, what have you done with it? Paula took it away. I do not know. 
know where she put it. Why did she take it down? Oh, please do not ask me. Please, please. Candida, how could you allow Paula to do that? Oh, I do not know. There's nobody in Missy who is there at the door. Oh, yes, you are home, all right. Excuse us for coming right up. And don't ask to go away because you won't go away. Not till we find out what we want to find out. Uh, look, we'll behave ourselves honest. You remember us, don't you? We were from the Parisian Theater. We were here about a week ago. And I'm sorry about the way that I acted the last time and the things that I said. What can I do for oh, you? Oh, we want to see Tony. What's the matter with him? Is he sick? He hasn't shown up at the theater for the last two days. And if he doesn't show up tonight, the manager is going to fire him. He'll lose his job. He came right over here from the show to tell him. It's important. he lose his job. Where is he? Did he take his clothes with him? No. His clothes and his things are, are, are still here. They're there. Are you good friends of his? Yes, we are. Then we will tell Mr. Javier, when you get all of his sticks and, and, and his clothes, and when you find him, will you please tell him never, never to return here again? So in those know? two suitcases, you're throwing him out? Please tell Mr. Javier, I beg you not to come here again, not to show his face here again. You're throwing him out. Look, girls, whatever it is is between Tony and Miss Marasica. You go and take his clothes with you, he's bound to show up sooner or later. Ah, I won't go away until I find out what's happened to him. Nothing's happened to him. He's probably just out on a binge. What did he do? want to speak to Miss Marasiga. I am Miss Marasiga. Miss mm -hmm. Candida Marasiga. Uh, Miss Parasigan, two days ago at around lunchtime, it telephoned us and reported that your sister had been abducted. We have been unable to locate your sister, but we have found the man who... I'm sorry, I made a mistake. Uh, what, what was the mistake? I, by telephoning you, uh, she, she, she is not missing. Your sister was not abducted? No. She's not missing. Huh? Then why did you not call again to tell us? I forgot. Huh? <laughs> you are withdrawing your charges. What's wrong with this? She's not missing. I made a mistake. Mistake, Miss Parasigan? Ha! You see this cute little black eye? <laughs> Stop it, you two! I got this because of your stupid mistake. I have to be more careful next time, will you? Could we use your telephone? Do we have to go there? You, go down and call up the station. Tell them to release this fellow. Which fellow, officer? The fellow she said had run away with her sister. Oh, is his name um, Tony Javier? Oh. oh. That's right, that's right, that's right, that's right. Where did you find him? In, in a bar, trying to break all the furniture. Drunk? And violent, he gave, he gave my companion the black eye. Oh, oh but they're going God. to release him now? Oh, sure, after it pays a hefty amount of... This is fine. This is fine. <gasps> you see, you see? I hope that you and that sister of yours are satisfied. Yeah. Just what actually happened, Miss Marasiga? You know, my sister just went out for a ride and she didn't tell me where she was going. And this was around 12 o'clock noon the day before yesterday? But she came back right away. Oh, nonsense. Come on, let's go. Okay, let's go. Oh, bye. 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 I bet she did. Will you shut up? Why should I? They got poor Tony into jail, make him lose his job, and then they all laugh and say, oh. It was all a mistake, and then they try everyone to hush up. They think they can keep it all safe and quiet, do they? Well, you don't, Miss Menasiga, and I'll take care of that. We'll show your name all over town. I'll make sure everyone knows about that fine ride your sister had with Tony. You bet we will. <laughs> 
So, she came back right along. <clears throat> it's she. Back. You 
going back to where it come from. Back to the gutter. You will not go back, Tony. Yes, I will. Yes, I will. I'm going back to where I come from. I'm through with fighting. I just want to rot. You could have saved me, Paula. You didn't want to. And I... I could have saved you. But it's too late now. You're just going to rot here. You're all going to rot here, the three of you. It's going to be afraid to look at each other's face. You're going to sit there and hate on each other until you die. Listen, the 
evil spell has been yes. broken. Yes. 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 The evil spell has been broken. And the princesses have now yeah. returned to their kingdom. Oh. Pito, Pito, I'm delighted with you. <laughs> well, don't I get part of the kingdom? Beware, Pitoy. Our kingdom is a barren land. And the king, our father, had a good man. That's right. <laughs> oh, 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 Ave Maria Purissima! A holy and good evening to everyone in this house. Oh no, no, Don Alvaro. Come over here, Doña Ufe. Come over here, Don Alvaro. Oh, we are so glad you have come. Canada. Some brandy for our visitors. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, but you haven't met Bitoy Camacho. He was a member of our regular tertulias. Bitoy, say good, uh, good, uh, good evening to your old friends. Good evening, Doña Ube. Good evening, Doña Ube. Good evening, Don Alba. He too has come to celebrate the Naval with us. Ah, muy bien. You do well, my boy, to honor an old tradition before it disappears. And yes, why... there is this war, this all this talk of war, war, war. I see, and that is why we have come tonight. We wanted to salute the Virgin from her balconies again, just as we used to do in the old days. Oh, Paula, Candida, this may be the last time. Yes, Upe, this oh, may well be the last time. Oh, Pepe! Practically from the graveyard, Lupe. And I am not ready to come tonight. Manila, then Westros Amores. And here we are, gathered again, memories of old dispensation. And what memories, eh? Personal memories, ancestral memories, that wind, those bells, this feast, La Naval de Manila. <laughs> oh, how the words ache in one's heart. You speak only for ourselves, Alvaro. Yes, in this we are the last of the generations. Already, for our children, these things awaken 
no special emotion, no memories, no filial pieties. Your traditions are dying. Yes, yes. they are dying. And then there is no need for war to kill them. Drag my dying bones here for the last time to our anniversary. What's the matter with you all? Stop your shouting, Aristeo. Paula and Candida are in great peril. Oh. Is this true, Nina? Yeah. Let me look at you, Paula. Oh, your hands are so cold. Oh, oh truly? <laughs> Oh, this is not... Oh, no, no. Are you truly in great danger? Surely you can feel the floor trembling beneath us. <laughs> I can feel your hands trembling for sure. Are you going to defend us? Oh, I should have brought my pistola. <laughs> <laughs> we need only your presence, noble soldier. Canada, I'm ready for our champion. Uh -huh. Si, si, si. Viva la Virgen, a la gran señora de Filipinas, en la gloriosa fiesta de su la paz. ¡Viva la Virgen! ¡Viva la Virgen! ¡Viva la Virgen! ¡Viva la Virgen! ¡Viva la you know very well why we have come. A shameful, shameful scandal. Go and get your clothes. The two of you. You are leaving this house this very minute. Have you lost your manners? Don't you see me a visitor? Kandila, tell these people to go away. Hi, Manolito. I hardly recognize you. You have grown so. <laughs> Don Aristeo, forgive me. But you must leave. You must all leave. My sisters and I have family matters to discuss. This is Pepita. <laughs> you are such a gentle <laughs> child, so tender. Don Aristeo, please. Don Aristeo, we have no time to... No time, no time. Always no time. Come, sit down. Let us drink. We talk of the old days. Relax, the two of you. Candida, tell these people to go away. See you. He used to be such a... a thief. Dreamy boy. Do you scolded him for being so bashful? Oh, I can still remember that. He was always blushing, yeah. especially the presence of the fair sex. <laughs> I ask you all politely for the last time. Please. And always reading. Always in a corner with a book. And playing his violin out there in the patio. So directing yourself well, where Pepita hears the prima donna. <laughs> Allow me to speak! Oh, they were the most intellectual children I have ever known. I beg for the last time. We have family matters to discuss. All of you. And Pepita, I will never forget how you used to recite the old Timoteos. When you were only seven. Adios, patria adorada. Leon, the soul, querida. 
Perla del Mar. It, it was I. I. It was I, I who taught her that. Si. Oh. And it was I who taught you to dance, see. Manolo.
it is gone now that house the house of Don Lorenzo El Magnifico they are dead now Don Lorenzo Paula Candida they're all dead now they died with their house they died with their city and maybe it is just as well they did for they could never have survived the death of the old Manila but listen it is not dead it has not perished your city my city the city of our father still lives something of it is left something of it survives and will survive as long as i live and remember i who have known and loved and cherished these things paula candida <coughs> By your dust and by the dust of all the generations, I promise to continue. I promise to preserve the jungle may advance, the bombs may fall again, yet while I live, you live, and this dear city of our affection shall rise again, if only in my song. To remember and to sing. That is my vocation. Staff, our production manager, Mr. Sam Lim. Uh, 
Chris. I see some of the bunch of is seen again. <laughs> For the business side, uh, it's all because of me, and for the promotions we have, Ms. Paula David and Kelly Kagiwa. She's also preparing for you. And our graphics uh, designer, yung gumawa ng posters namin and teasers na napakaganda. Uh, Zai Miliar and Sam Tizon. <laughs> Sam Miliar yung poster. And our front of house is Tita Mila. And for costumes, we have Tita Lala and Gabi. And of course, our stage manager, Ms. Fix Ontalan. A few people and a few groups. Um, the Board of Trustees and the Board of Trustees. Yeah, the Board of Trustees. And the resident members. We can borrow. 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 We can borrow.
invited the yes, but our cousins, but they did not come. <laughs> so anyway, we had a big program. So I the resident, the other student members, other resident members of the Philippine Drama Company, Andrea Alpinos, Orlando Alvarez, Reni Alvarez, Rosuete Alvarez is sweet here. Lamberto Bats Avellana Jr., John Blancaflor, Jigs Blancaflor, Raymond Nicolas Blancaflor is is Nick here. Uh, Harvey Chua, Jody Cruel, Sidney Dilit, Antonio Ray Manuel Ferrer, whose birthday is celebrated also today. Uh, uh, by the way, it's the birthday also of uh, Arroyo Javier. So, take another bow for the audience. Jose Mabanta, uh, Bobby Portanes, Catherine Rodrigo, Jamie Rodrigo, Martin Taniedo, Pam Johnson, Annie Xavier, Celso Ilagan, Kenya Ilagan, Maria Francesca Buti, and the sponsors, of course, are Peña Mabanta and Family, Eddie Reynoso, Sonia Kaday, and, and everybody else. If we, for, if we overlook the uh, mention of, uh, of some of them, please forgive us, because it's so difficult to learn. Uh, we have a show coming up next year because they uh, I, I am handing out the the uh, governance of the Philippine drama company to the young people and that's that's the reason why Jay Hindi na na ako. Thank you very very much. And now we must all eat because